In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made these super simple snowflake thank you cards for after Christmas or any time. Stay tuned. Okay, the supplies I'm going to be using today are my Stampin' Up! Knight of Navy, which is a little bit of morph there because I needed to re-ink it and I didn't have any Knight of Navy re-inker, so I used my Ultramarine Blue archival ink reinker, but I think it worked out well. And then this is paper from Stampin' Up. I still have some, but it's got this beautiful watercolor and then the, the bluish purple periwinkle, if you will, colors. A piece of cardstock. I'm not sure where I got this, but it matches pretty well as far as I'm concerned. And my card bases, you can get two from one sheet of paper, one, one piece of cardstock, and just a scrap, and a Stampin' Up! punch. And, of course, this is a thank you rubber stamp. So let's get started. So I'm going to cut my cardstock at five and a quarter by four. Because I want that little white border around my card base. So we're gonna cut two. Since I already did the five and a quarter, all I have to do is measure four. And there are my two pieces. them aside and now for my pattern paper I'm going to be using both sides I'm going to do them both a quarter inch down which would be five by three and three quarters and because this paper is non-directional meaning it doesn't matter which way I turn it it's going to look just fine I can cut it this way. If it was directional up and down, then I would cut the smaller first. Like in this case, it's three and three quarters. I would cut that first and then the five. So I will have, I'm gonna do one of this and one of that. How cute. All right. Now let's go ahead and stamp our thank you on the front. Get our piece there. You should have plenty of pieces of white extra from all the different projects. All right. Thank you. I forgot where I bought the original stamp from, but I got this as a thank you. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and I, I didn't mount it on anything. I went ahead and left it the way it was. So we'll do one there. Let's go in a little bit further to make sure my punch fits. Okay. One there and one there. I'm going to try it to see if it works, but I, maybe so, yep, just barely. Okay, cool, I'll have three then. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to have to cut this down so I can get two. Okay. I turn it around so I can see what I'm doing and get the even space. Okay. Now, if you don't have a die cut machine, these are great. Of course, if 
by the time you've bought six or seven punches, you could buy a die cut machine. So, but this is easier and quicker, honestly. Okay, so there's three. I don't need all three. I'll save one for another project. There's lots of thank yous to go around, of course. So let's go ahead and fold our card base. There are our two card bases, and I'm going to make them This is portrait and this is landscape. I'm going to go ahead and make them landscape. But again, it doesn't matter because I am not going to put anything on the inside here. This is just going to be blank. So you can write your own note. That's another thing that makes this simply simpler. And then we're going to put our thank you right here. Now, of course, you can jazz this up any way you would like. But I am showing you, for the sake of this video... How to make... A clean and simple card. I'm just going to put this down flat, but you can also pop this up on dimensionals if you would like. Again, I just want to keep this simple. So there is my first card with the snowflakes, the beautiful periwinkle, lavender, whatever color you want to call that. And then, of course, your inside is blank for a note. going to use the watercolor side this time. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And there they are. Clean and simple. My next video, I can go ahead and embellish these. And we will step it up just a little bit. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.